Hello everyone, welcome to the world of ASV. In this video, we will talk about the search and replay functionality in our web-based application called PowerPlay Web. I am using Neo version 6.7.0.9.0 in this video. Let's get started. After navigating to the URL of PowerPlay Web application in the browser window, the screen prompts us to enter our login name and password. Upon entering the credentials, we'll be able to see the calls recorded in the system. This application has four sections. The navigation bar on the left-hand side used to navigate between the modules. The quick search section on the top where we can specify the frequently used search criteria. The main section at the center of the page where the search results are displayed. And the details section on the right hand side where the details corresponding to the selected call are displayed. PowerPlay Web application contains two main modules, conversation and participant view. In the conversation view, all the recorded calls from beginning till the end will show up as one single entry, whereas the participant view displays one entry per participant involved in a call. The quick search section allows us to add the most frequently used search criteria. By default, it displays the start time filter with the value set to 14 days. To modify the favorite search fields, we can use the Configure Search button, which loads all the available search criteria in the new window. Another frequently used criteria besides the start time field is the participant phone number, which is available under the Participant Information section. To add this to our favorite search field, the users can click the star icon located right next to the criteria name. And after adding that as the favorite, you can choose the option Save. So it will be added to the Quick Search tabs on the top. The users can also rename the saved search and have multiple saved searches in their profile. Let us now see how to search for a particular call. We can use the start time field to locate a call that was recorded on a certain date or time. For example, to search for all the calls that was recorded on the 26th of October, I can change the start time field from period to between and specify the date and the time range. For instance, if you would want to locate the calls recorded between 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. on the 26th of October, you can change it using the date and the time fields by clicking on the tiny calendar icon and select the date and the time filters from here. After the date and time have been entered, you can choose the Start Search button to load the calls. Now you can see that the system has returned a total of 15 call records that were recorded between the specified search criteria time. The users can also search for a call made by a particular phone number using the participant phone number section. Under the participant phone number field, the users can choose any of the values from the drop-down, like equal, contains, or if they only know the last four digits or five digits of the extension, they can choose the option ends with and enter only the last four digits of the phone number and then click on the start search field to locate the calls for a particular phone number. 
The calls can also be looked up by several other parameters like direction, duration, and so on under the configure search options. Once we have the calls that we are looking for, we can play it back by either double-clicking a call, clicking on that call entry twice, and click on the play option at the bottom of the screen. Another option to load a call and play it back is also by selecting the call from the main section and choose the load icon on the top toolbar, choose the option load all. Once the call was played, you can also use the clear playlist option located at the bottom of the screen to clear the call that was loaded. If you would wish to export the list of these calls and the corresponding data, you can also choose the option export that is available under the conversations drop down menu on the top toolbar. Choose the option export as CSV. The logout button in this version of PowerPlay Web is located on the left hand side right below the ASC PowerPlay Web application. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.